Hi, welcome to Anjurisa channel. I'm Trisa and you can call me Risa. And today I will show you a great way to make these satin scrunchies with beautiful ruffle right in the center. Stay tuned. The first thing is to prepare your fabric and the sewing thread. I don't really pay attention to my sewing thread, but many people ask me about the sewing thread that I use. I am using this sewing thread. It's polyester thread. As you can see the box here, it's polyester. I suggest you to use the same color thread for these scrunchies because if you use contrasting color like mine, you can, it's very visible. I use dark blue fabric and white color thread. It's really visible. So I suggest you to use the same color thread for these scrunchies. I am using satin fabric to make these scrunchies because I really love the texture of a satin fabric. The size is about 60 centimeters by 10 centimeters. I will write the size in centimeters and inches below here. So the first step is to, to fold the fabric to the wrong side. You can see the right side and the wrong side. So we fold the fabric to the wrong side and then fold it like this. And we are going to sew all along the fabric. After we sew the fabric, I will turn the fabric right side out using a loop turner. If you don't have a loop turner, you can use a safety pin. With loop turner, just hook the fabric from here and then just easily push it. Push the fabric, pull the fabric can see how easy it is to turn our fabric. Next is to, you can see the seam here, just press the seam like this. And I'm going to sew all along the fabric like this. But I will leave about one and a half centimeters right here. I will show you later. The seam allowance depends on the size of your elastic band. Make sure that when you sew this part, the elastic band fits inside the fabric for later. I will use the seam allowance about 1 cm. Sew it. Just take the seam here, just press it. As you can see, I start sewing from here and leave about one and a half centimeters. Next is to prepare the elastic band. I am using the elastic band size is about half centimeters or a quarter inch. As you can see the size. So make sure that this elastic band fits inside the part that we just sew, I will use a loop turner to put the elastic band inside. If you have a really, really thick hair, you can use 8 to 9 inches, but I am using 7 inches elastic band right here. Just hook the elastic band. Okay, just pull it. Pull the elastic band. Now I can just pull the... I will tie a knot. This is the easier way. Let me show you later. Just tie a knot. You can just tie a knot on the elastic band. If you want to make it look more professional, you can overlap the elastic band together and sew it together. Like I did for these scrunchies, we can barely see the knot here. And for these pink scrunchies, I tie a knot like with the, the elastic band. And we can feel the knot right... Where is it? I can feel the knot right here. If you want to make it look more professional, then you can overlap the elastic band together and sew it together. 
like this tie a knot on the elastic band and then I, I will hide the knot inside just pull it just pull the elastic band and hide it inside the fabric you can see that the knot is right inside the fabric next I just hide the raw edges here inside the part that we press that we make at the beginning just hide it inside and we are going to sew this part just sew it under it is just sew it like this take it back take it back a few stitches Next, sew it like this. And that's it. Our seven scrunchies is finished. Thanks for watching this video. If you find this tutorial useful, please give me a thumbs up and share this video. If you don't, just hit the dislike button and comment below about what you don't like. See you in my next video. Bye!